I built this caliper a while back and it comes in handy. I like it because it's large. Um, the other caliper I use is this small digital. So I came up with this idea for a new and improved caliper. I'll show you what I'm going to do. I will start by cutting this piece of maple and I will cut it bigger than what I need so it'll be easier to work with later. What I'm going to do now is make a dado cut into this stick and that'll be for the ruler to sit in. So what I've done is turn the blade to 10 degrees and I'll do that on both sides of the stick. So here I'm marking it where I want to cut it on this block and I should really be using a router but this will work just as well. So it fits nice in the slot. Now I can go on and cut this piece to the right size. Some of the parts will be similar to my large caliper. So I'll just take this apart. And then what I've done is just traced it onto this piece right here. Now I can get ready to cut this piece and I've already cut the slot in here so this piece will fit on and it'll be glued on so that's no problem. Pull these pieces together and mark it so I can cut it. An easy way to mark this piece is to flip this one over and just put it on there and trace it like I just did. Now that I have the jaws, they fit nice on the ruler, I will just cut them down to shape them a little bit nicer. Now with this piece I just cut, I can glue these together on the ruler. Here I've just added a set screw. And I've also put in a little bit of micro-fine Teflon powder and that will lubricate the screw. I never add oil to wood because it attracts dirt and it gets very gummy. And it can now be adjusted to any setting. For the ruler, I just added a few drops of CA glue into the track and I put it inside there. The track is nice and tight so the ruler fit really snug. Now I'll give it a test to see how accurate it is. I will stop it at 5 inches there now I locked it in and now I can measure it with this caliper that's at 0 
There, that's not bad at all. I'll try it again at four inches. My caliper is complete. And there it is. I will show you a few things on how it works. First of all, this top piece can fit on your workpiece like so, similar to a T-square. And then this piece can slide up and down. This is how I'm gonna mark a four inch square really quick. And here's five inch. Anyways, this is my new caliper. I've I just made it and I've used it. I really like it a lot. I hope you like my design and I hope you can build one as well. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you guys soon.